for one of those stupid travel mistakes he shouldn't have done. This was one of them. This is the first time I've lost a drone. Let's go drink our sorrows away. So we met a, a German guy driving around New in Zealand a, in a van. And uh, he he said that we could um, get a lift home and now we're sitting on his bed. Oh, that was shaky. Good morning everybody, welcome to Polaris. We have left Picton, we're heading to the Able Tasman and we stopped for a bit of a coffee and dip. Hi Laura! Jump, jump, jump! Jump, jump, jump! Woo! Yeah, she oh. if she could die. <laughs> Guys, I do love how this is how our mornings start. <laughs> like, this is pretty cool. It's not, not too, too bad. bad. Guys, how much do Mondays suck? Not too bad now. Is that Monday? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was classic. There's like two types of people on this tour. <laughs> Everyone's sitting here fully warm with coffee and Laura. It's cold. Really? Nelson just grabbed a bite to eat but we also found out that this is the place where the jewelry store is that made the ring for Lord of the Rings so we're quickly gonna grab some lunch and then run over and check out the jewelry store before we have to leave. Nelson has a lot of these little pop-up shops all through this walkway we're just on the main road here and I think the jewelry shop is just over there it's called I don't know Jens Hansen <laughs> probably not how I'm pronouncing it Hans Hansen Jens Hansen and here it is so this is oh, practically cool. Mount Doom, pretty much. <laughs> How cool! Let's see if we can go find it. So the gold and silver in those? Yeah. My sister's actually very heavy. Wow. The silver ones, they are quite heavy. It's quite a heavy ring. Yeah, it's a very heavy ring. I didn't expect it to be so I know, so and most of the unlicensed wow. replicas we see are flat. Um, when Stephen was choosing his wedding ring, he was like, Oh, this kind of like Lord of the Rings ring. But now you look at like that. <laughs> Can't get over how beautiful the beaches are here in New Zealand. <laughs> did you tell them about your bee sting? Yeah, oh, I didn't. This is the first time he's ever been bitten by a so I bee. It hit me there, and all, all this is swollen. swollen up. Luckily, I'm not allergic, though, but <laughs> that could have been a thing. <laughs> We've come out to an interesting spot just over there in the distance. Oh, you can see it a little bit when I turn the brightness down. It's called Split Apple Rock, and it's like, I can see why they call it. It looks like an apple, and it's just been like split through the middle. Like Zeus is just thrown and lightning bolt through it. Guys, welcome to the Abel Tasman National Park. We're staying at a place called The Barn and it's so cool. So this area, should we show them the kitchen area first? Yeah, sure. So we've all bought supplies and we're going to cook um, dinner here tonight. We have two nights here, so tomorrow is going to be like the big Abel Tasman National Park Explore Day. Wow, that is huge. Oh, barbecues. Oh, nice. So then we're kind of staying in these tin houses. Our place is called Tio. And they're all around. There's like one here, there's one here. I mean, just look at that view, guys. Like, wow. I can't wait to go explore that. And then... And then this is our room, which we're sharing with four people on the tour. There you go. It's our little room. So I for a hostel. I wait for the three girls to get back, because they went and did skydiving. You have to explain the story. So what happened was, we were just at the grocery store, and they all meant to go skydiving in two days' time. And we got out of the grocery store, and then our guide was like, girls, so, uh, you know how you meant to do skydiving in two days? <laughs> we just got told that we were skydiving today, as opposed to... Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> so we're, and we're, we're a bit doing? shook. We just were at the grocery store and now we're gonna skydive <laughs> and I drank oh scrumpies. <laughs> what scrumpies? Alcoholic cider. <laughs> so, so how smushy and then I just had to take my anxiety medication because I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Was it? You looked like God. Was it good? I'm obsessed. It's a new oh hobby. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so happy. Sorry, Mum. Oh my god! Sorry, I can't wait to watch your stuff. 
Oh my goodness, it's the size of your face. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get you in. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Able Tasman. We've decided to see it two different ways. We're going to jump in a kayak, or actually, we're in a kayak right now, and we're going to go see it from the water. And then, in about three hours' time, we're going to jump off and walk back to our campsite. Just jumped on Able Tasman kayaks. Even though it's like not the best weather, it actually is pretty good for kayaking because this is the calmest waters I think I've ever been in for kayaking. So we've entered the national park, the Abel Tasman National Park, and we're going to be kayaking along the coast, and then hopefully we're going to get to a point where we're going to cross to that little island, and I think there's some wildlife which could be cool to see over there. Guys, we've just made it to the island, and it is a bird sanctuary, so they've actually relocated a bunch of native birds to the island, and we're going past, and you can hear them all singing, it almost sounds fake. It sounds like they've put like a uh, speakerphone or something. Yeah, a recording of birds on. It's crazy. So right now there's little baby pups, the New Zealand fur seal, and they're feeding. Sorry, the GoPro can't pick it up, but they're so cute. They're so small and fluffy. Land ahoy! Just we finished like it. two and a half hours of kayaking. I'm exhausted, but we've just stopped off at Observation Beach. You can see the island just over there. Bit of sunlight, it's really nice, but the best bit is it's been a little picnic set up for us for lunch. Oh, this looks so good. There's actually like a muscle. Oh, it popped out, but there was still like the muscle in it. <laughs> oh. Even got the coffee going here. Yeah. This is awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, they look good. And then Seagull thinks so too. Go away. Hey buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Careful. Oh. I wonder if any New Zealanders will write in the comments what bird it is. Yeah, what bird is this guys? Thick leg bird, we're calling it. Thicky. <laughs> Alright, we just started our hike back. It's oh, three hours. Sweaty. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We were just down there in the beach and I think it's three hours to get our campsite. This really reminds me of Australia though. Like this type of bushland. Alright, we're doing the Abel Tasman Coast Track. About nine kilometers for us to get back to our campsite. hike we've done so far out of the, like the three crazy ones we've done just in the last week I think we've walked well over 30 kilometers in the last week but this one like this Abel Tasman National Park is quite beautiful of course it does remind me a little bit of Australia mixed in with like you got palm trees so it's got like that Cairns tropical north kind of feel to it but that waterfall was was pretty cool and then we have the beach just next to us and we're watching the other kayakers kind of kayak back because if you do do that tour there's like different options you can walk out here then kayak back or kayak out there then walk back i'd recommend you guys do that rather than catching the water taxi home so then you can actually you know experience this national park it's definitely worth it all right fingers crossed we might have found a store that sells it through so we're like half locked out and then <laughs> oh. 
Oh my goodness.